What's going on, everybody? It's Apoc King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. It's war time, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it's war time. It's time to start a war in the comments section between Battlefield 4 and Call of Duty Ghost. Yeah, I did it. Uh huh. I done start. I done started a fire, and I don't know how to put it out. That's right. We about to jump into some Battlefield 4 multiplayer gameplay, but I'm gonna just talk to y'all about why I'm gonna get this game. Yeah, man, iPod is out here about to just break the bank. I'm going to be in debt for like about a year, you know, but I'm going to get a lot of games because I've seen so much at E3. Now, speaking of E3, yeah, I said I've seen a lot, right? But guess what I didn't see a lot of? I didn't see a lot of Call of Duty Ghosts. All I saw were some fishes. That's right. A couple fishes, you know. Yeah, they got fishes. Um... And I saw the dog, yeah, yeah, hashtag Kai Riley, right? Yeah, I seen the dog, seen some fish. You know, I, I, I like that they want to go with the, you know, the, the nature aspect of it. But uh, what about the gun game? What about multiplayer? What about Call of Duty, the title? Well, uh, yeah, let's talk about Battlefield 4. Now, from the beginning of E3, all I saw was multiplayer gameplay from Battlefield 4. Now, Battlefield 4 has a Twitch. They were live streaming, I mean literally all E3. All all multiplayer. It was I barely seen any single player and from the single player that we saw, we knew what we were getting. Now, did you just check out this dude? I, I you know what? I can't even explain it. It's something like I forgot what they call it. I don't know if it's like demolition uh 3.0 or 2.0 or whatever it's called i don't know the specific term for it but i remember when i had battlefield 2 i used to be able to knock down walls with like c4 charges and stuff like that and then it upgraded to being able to bring down an entire building now in this multiplayer gameplay you'll see later in the, in the uh, film they bring down a skyscraper a, a effing skyscraper are you serious who does that in the game so my main reason for getting this game is yeah i'm reverting back to it it's because it's really like all out warfare now i know a lot of people have problems with saying oh the maps are too big it takes too long to finish a real game oh man i'm, I'm just gonna go put in call of duty to get a seven minute team death match in well that's not what battlefield 4 is built for. it's actually built for real warfare you have tanks you have gunships you have uh, attack helicopters you have just about everything you need to implement real warfare now i'm not saying that battlefield 4 is built to you know uh like an afghanistan aspect where you're fighting against iraqis and nothing like that no of course not but it's built to you know have that familiar that familiar feel to it like in the gun game it's always been a problem with me with looking at people because it's hard to see them but you know i'll get over that because i want to ride in the tank i want to shoot people down i want to be an engineer and be able to help out uh our tank or something like that or say like say our chopper goes up right and they go into you know enemy territory they try to shoot a couple people you know but catch you know a shot they come back down to um our base and then you know the engineer fixes it up you have about two or three engineers might be working on it you know stuff like that like that's that's the point where i really like the game and and battlefield 2 wasn't a bad game for me i didn't get battlefield 3 i played the demo played the beta but i decided to get call of duty because i still wasn't ready for that you know that warfare feel that that long maps and you know the the drawn out matches but now I think I'm built for it because I don't, I'm not, I'm not a, a first person shooter uploader. Like I don't upload first person shooters all the time. You know, that, that's not really my thing, but I do play them so much. Like I'm prestige probably about three or four times in Call of Duty. And that's just off of me, you know, getting on a game, playing a couple matches, get off. I might come back to it. You know, I'm not one of those guys where I sit in front of the TV for about 12 hours playing a game no but i am you know a traditional gamer like I, I game a lot so when it comes to me needing a game where i just want to sit down in front of tv get a little strategy going 
Call of Duty 4 will probably be that game to bridge the gap through me raging off of 2K so much. <laughs> I know, man. I rage on 2K so much that, you know, I need a game where it's going to be as little rage as that could possibly be. And Call of Duty last year on Black Ops 2, oh my goodness, I would get off of 2K, get on that, and rage even harder. But uh, check out this actual skyscraper coming down. This right here is in the game on multiplayer. So just imagine what you could do in the story mode. Oh, man. But I've taken up enough of you guys' time. It's time to argue in the comments section. What are you going to get? Battlefield 4 or Call of Duty Ghosts? Or are you going to get both? What platform? PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, PC, Xbox One, PS3. Look, I'm out. Peace.